Welcome to part two of the AutoCAD Inventor LT Suite series. This part two, we're going to talk about adding 2D constraints to your sketch that you brought over from AutoCAD LT in the previous example. So I'm going to go ahead and begin to edit that base sketch. Now, once you've brought over that geometry, you probably want to add some additional intelligence to it. That's something you didn't necessarily have to think about while I was building out this, uh, this part transitioning it from 2D to 3D, but if I want this part to, uh, if I want to utilize this in the next size, if you will, I want to go ahead and build some intelligence in it. You saw that I add some con uh, concentric constraints uh, between the arcs and the circles and such. I'm adding parallel constraints. I'm adding tangent conditions so that when this geometry updates, it updates according to the way I want it to. So if I make it longer, I want to make sure everything's maintaining a parallel relationship, a tangent relationship, and so on and so forth. Now the last thing I want to do is I want to make sure that the center of the larger circle is coincident with world zero zero. Now there's a couple ways you can do that. Uh, you can use the move or the way I like to do it is utilize the coincident constraint to place that circle, the center of that circle, on world zero zero especially when you're concerned about machining operations.